Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ryan Bedecki here bringing you another tutorial for the PlayStation Vita. I'm going to be showing you how to play Ico and uh, the God of War collection on your PlayStation Vita through remote play. It's really simple guys, so just follow along. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to your XMB on the PlayStation 3 and you're going to want to start up the God of War collection. If you didn't know, you need a patch to do this. So you're going to want to patch those games first. Start the God of War collection. It's going to say, hey, I found a new patch, version 1.01. .01. Uh, click yes to that. You're going to download it. You're going to be prompted to do a screen. It's going to say, like, you know, hey, this is for PlayStation Vita. You cannot remote play on the PSP. I don't know why, but, yeah. I don't think you want to do that anyway. But click yes to that. You're going to want to download the small patch 38 MB. That's not big. Then after that, you're going to want to go to remote play on the PlayStation 3. You're going to want to quit the game after that. Do not start the game again. Um, hit remote play. Your email should be there. Um, I obviously blocked mine out. I don't want you to see that. But your email should be there. So you're going to want to sign into the PlayStation Vita. So you're going to want to go to the PlayStation Vita now. And you're going to want to start out the remote play. And uh, there's two options to do it. You can connect via internet and you can connect via private network. Uh, internet is ideal for if you're not at your PlayStation 3, but for the sake of this video and for the sake of button responsiveness, I hit private network because my PS3 is in the same room as me and I want the best button responsiveness. And it's going to connect and you're back on the XMB on the PlayStation 3, uh, on your PlayStation Vita, mind you, and you're going to want to go to God of War Collection and it's going to start up uh, nice and simple just like that. So the game's going to start up, blah, 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 you, you know all this. It's going to ask you which game you want to play, God of War 1, God of War 2. But there is a screen that you're going to see right here. It's going to say um, you need Type 3 to play the game. That's because uh, since the PlayStation Vita doesn't have buttons like L2, uh, R2, you know, L3, R3, it's going to make you um, uh, change the settings to this so you can get those buttons on your PlayStation Vita. So you're going to want to tap the screen and hit the settings icon. And you're going to want to change that to, to Type 3. Reason being is so that they, they can assign those buttons to the back touch. So L2, R2, and L3 and R3 are going to be back touch. If you're playing God of War, that's what you're going to have to do. Like, There's nothing you can you know do about that. The game just doesn't have those buttons. But other than that, once you switch over, I mean, the game's going to start. You can start a new game. And you can start playing uh, God of War on your PlayStation uh, Vita through remote play. Uh, works fine. It's very fluid through private network. Over the Internet, it's probably not ideal since there's going to be a lot of button lag. But the game works nonetheless, and uh, you know this video will work for Ico and the Shadows of the Colossus Collection. It's the same principle. You're gonna want to download that patch and do the same thing here. But the games, uh, they work. I mean, hopefully this becomes more standard for Sony. Maybe they'll start to patch more of their games to uh, to do this. I know a lot of you guys really uh, want to start playing PS3 games on your Vita. You really are clamoring for this feature, so they're starting to work towards it. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful, guys. Subscribe for more PlayStation tutorials, news, reviews, and all sorts of things like that. Peace out.